say, you got Mitch Lightfoot? We'll have Chris Key hand here and on. We'll make it done. Hey, Mitch, Mitch, how excited are you? With the, with the, the setup, you guys. Go ahead. How excited, Mitch, for the season to start and just for you to get going? I know it's been a while since you played a meaningful game. Has it been tough? And, and do you find yourself getting anxious at all? Um, I'm excited. I mean, I'm ready for it to be here. I mean, it's been a long year and a half coming. So, I mean, just to get out there and play basketball again, it'll, it'll be good. And I, as far as nerves or anything, I mean, I've been here long enough. I think nerves are kind of faded. And, and for you, what's been the most difficult part in, in all of this? Just waiting, sitting by, and not being able to, to play? Um, I think, I mean, going from red shirt and I mean, I've obviously learned a lot during my red shirt year and then you go from red shirt to quarantine to not seeing your teammates for six months and then getting thrown right back into it. So it's, it's a little different. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're taking it and we're, we're getting ready to get ready to play some ball. Mitch, can, can, McCar can McCarthy Hall kind of replicate, uh, the best college basketball can, uh, a bubble type scenario and in what ways? Um, I think, I think it definitely has the, the ability to, um, and they made it, they made it in a way that we can, we can be, uh, secluded in a way. Um, obviously there's, we get our own, own, our own rooms, our own, our own individual, uh, places to live, which is pretty, pretty secluded from other people on cam on campus. So I think, I think that's something that we can use to, to our advantage. Mitch, how confident are you that, you know, you and David can, can kind of share those minutes and hold down that five spot or whatever it is? I mean, you guys feel pretty good feeding off each other and playing, complimenting, all that stuff? Yeah, um, me and David have talked about it. Um, I'm really good friends with them, so we, we talk about it pretty often. Um, being able to hold that spot down and uh, give, a, give our team the production that we need, um, whether he's out there, whether I'm out there, um, I think we're we're uh, we're ready for this year, and we're gonna we're gonna give give it the best we got. Coach said that David's growth has come maybe mostly in his scoring the ball. Uh, what what have you seen from him in that area? And I know he just told us to ask that, and you heard it. So here we go. Um, I, I yeah, like Coach said, I mean he's he's grown a ton. I mean even from last year. Uh, I think you guys didn't get to. I mean he had he had his flashes. Uh, he had games where he had those those high point games, but I mean you guys still haven't seen uh, his ability to to hit some of those turnaround jump shots that his size makes it super hard to guard um, into strength. So, I mean, you, you, you guys saw a lot, a lot of doke last year with jump hooks and dunks and turnarounds near the hoop. So you'll, you'll get to see something different with uh, him out there. Hey, Mitch, coach had mentioned that uh, maybe Tyon had as good of a day scoring as anyone had had in years in a practice setting. What, what did that look like uh, from your perspective? Um, I think he has the ability to score the ball. I mean, the guy can rise up and he jumps. He jumps high on his jump shot, and he he's got a like a uh, how do I how you would say it, but like a slow to, a super change of pace to his game, to where he can he can rise up at any point in time, and you won't be ready for it. So he can, you can think he's getting ready to to shot they can go by you or do something like that or do something like that, and just rise up and really knock down shots. Is there anyone you would compare Tyon to, especially with those type of skills you were just talking about? I mean, like Coach said, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty special. Um, I've played with a lot of really good really good players here, and that scoring is kind of different. It, I mean, they could guys I've played with it can really score the ball, but he scores in such a different different way. I think. Does he play like Josh Jackson at all? Um, I would say that. I mean. He doesn't get enough credit for this, but he can he can definitely have, like block shots, affect shots around the rim, and get in there and offensively rebound, which is something that that we've we've applauded him for. So, in that essence, yes. I mean, obviously Josh was a real junkyard dog and got things done on both ends of the floor, but I think that I think that uh, Tyon has the ability to to shoot that ball maybe even a little bit more than Josh or a little bit better than Josh did. Uh, yeah. Hey, Mitch, go ahead. Mitch, how often do you and David uh, shoot threes in practice? Um, whew. Uh, Coach Self would uh, like me to roll to the basket 
more and I've been working on that. So, uh, but I think me and Dave definitely shoot our threes when, whenever we're, uh, we're left open. That's, a, that's for sure. You didn't spend your redshirt year jacking threes and getting ready to fire away? <laughs> I think there's a big difference from uh, playing on the red team to, to playing on the blue team. Um, on the red team, you got a little bit more, uh, a little more freedom. And yeah, last year I was definitely, I was, I was giving us a good look. So we just played against the big guys that could shoot. So I was, I was uh, definitely getting it up. All right, Mitch, thank you. All right, no problem. Have thank a great you. day.